If I got to interview one woman and ask her one question, I probably would interview Michelle Obama and ask, why not run? This year, I spent a lot of my time writing my book, Roadmap for Revolutionaries, Resistance, Activism, and Advocacy for All, which I co-wrote with Carolyn Duran and Jamia Wilson. Uh, we wrote this book because after the November 16 election, we saw a lot of people we knew who were never really that politically activated before getting really fired up and getting politically activated. But we were a little afraid that it was overwhelming, so we wanted to give people a handy guidebook to choose their adventure and figure out what they wanted to activate around and then take the next steps. If I had five minutes in a room alone with anybody I wanted, I would probably choose to have them with Hillary Clinton. And I would say, I'm sorry, I tried but not hard enough. And I allowed myself to be silenced. And if I had to do it over again, I would be even louder and more vocal than I am today. I would love to have dinner with Stephen Sondheim. He's like one of my idols. I'm a musical theater nerd. Oh my God, would I sing to him? Um, yes, I would. I would sing to Stephen Sondheim because I love Stephen Sondheim and I think I would do a pretty good job. A lot of times people ask me if all the tweeting and Facebook sharing and blogging is really doing anything and they call it slacktivism. And I'm like, hey, if that's where your skill is, if that's where you've built a community, if that's where you have influence, then consider it one of those skills that you can use. It's one of the things you've invested time and effort into building, why wouldn't you? Think about diversity across many, many dimensions. It's not just gender, it's not just ethnicity. Think about age. Think about religion. In our images, we used to make sure that we didn't have all women that had the same body type. So a lot of times people or companies achieve one milestone and then they're like, woo, we did it, you know, celebration. You can always go further and people respond well when they are given an ever increasing opportunity to make a difference and an ever increasing opportunity to continue. So don't settle. Don't settle for what you achieved on your first goal. What's your next goal then?